Let's write the decimal, 0 0.85, as a fraction. And here's how we'll do it. Let's start by calling it 0 0.85 over 1. We're only dividing by 1. It's still equal to 0 0.85, but now we have the start of a fraction. What we need to do is get this decimal, 0 0.85, to a whole number. We can do that by multiplying it by 100. That's because we have two decimal places, one two decimal places. If we multiply by 100 when we have two decimal places, that'll give us a whole number. Because 100 times 0 0.85, that equals 85. And there's our whole number. But we can't just multiply the numerator by 100. We also have to multiply the denominator. That's because 100 divided by 100, it's just 1. So we're multiplying by 1. It doesn't change the value, just the way it's written. 100 times 1, that equals 100. And now we have our fraction, 85 over 100. That's the same thing as the decimal, 0 0.85. We can't simplify this a little bit further, though. Let's give ourselves some room here. It looks like 5 will go into 85 and 100 evenly. And if you divide 85 by 5, you get 17. If you divide 100 by 5, you get 20. So we can reduce the fraction 85 over 100 down to 17 over 20. And these are all equivalent. If you divide 17 by 20 or 85 by 100, you'll end up with the decimal 0 0.85. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.